There he is, Thomas Randolph, in court for day four of his murder retrial. The 68-year-old defendant accused of murdering wife number six, Sharon Randolph, and a handyman that police say he hired to be the hitman. Now, Randolph was convicted for these crimes back in 2017, sentenced to death, but ultimately appealed, and his conviction was overturned. Death penalty no longer on the table for him by the choice of the prosecution because of his age. Nicknamed the Widower, this guy was also the focus of a very popular Dateline series, a very well-done series, where in it he demonstrates what he says happened during the shooting. Court TV legal correspondent Chanley Painter has more for us on today's biggest developments. Julie, the jurors had to take in difficult photos this afternoon inside the courtroom as a senior crime scene analyst showed the jury what he found at the crime scene on May 8, 2008, when Sharon Randolph was murdered by an alleged intruder who prosecutors say was actually a hitman hired by her husband. But then her husband murdered the hitman. During testimony, prosecutors are highlighting the physical pieces of evidence they say contradicts the defendant's story of how he claims he shot the alleged intruder, Mike Miller, in the hallway of his home that leads out to the garage, but there were no shell casings, blood or bullet strikes in that part of the home. Did you have an understanding in general about where these shootings occurred? We were told that they had basically happened in the garage area, and that's kind of what I was able to see. I don't think we got a, a definitive description. I knew we had a body in the garage, but as far as what I was seeing as far as the evidence it showed that it was all in the garage. How about this door? See any bullet strikes to that door? No. Any blood on that door? No. Any defects to that door? No. To emphasize this alleged discrepancy to the defendant's story, prosecutors also called a ballistics expert to explain how bullet casings fired from the alleged murder weapon would have ejected behind the shooter into the hallway, not the garage, something the defense challenged on cross-examination. If I step one foot forward and my arm is now in the doorway, you would expect it would actually hit the surface, right? Yes, it would. And it might bounce that way? It probably would bounce right across the shooter's face. It might bounce onto this side? It might. It might bounce again? Yeah, yes. there's no way to tell. If there's something else on the other side of that door, it might hit that object? That's correct. And it could bounce, right? Yes, it could. Randolph's defense team also challenged the testimony of the crime scene analyst by attacking his investigation on cross, repeatedly highlighting what the defense attorney insinuated was missed, overlooked, or potentially contaminated. You didn't photograph any blood on those walls? I did not see any of those small, less than three millimeter blood spatter to photograph, yes. Less than three millimeters is small, yes? Yes. But you understand it can be a really big deal in a murder case, right? Yes. And Julie, the state also called a detective who analyzed the phone records of the defendant showing he called the alleged hitman Mike Miller more than 200 times in the months leading up to the killings. And we are expecting to hear from members of Mike Miller's family in the prosecution's case. For now, we'll send it back to you. Our thanks to Chanley Painter for that report tonight. And this trial will roll on tomorrow. I'm curious if this guy's going to walk away. And maybe walk down the aisle again. Yikes, let me bring in my think tank. Josh Schiffer, Meg Strickler, and Daryl Cohen. Okay, what do we think? Does this guy have a chance here? I know, I'm kind of scared. He does have a chance because oh. we're not getting all the evidence about his background anymore. And what we defense lawyers like to do, our job is to simply just punch holes in the state's case. The state doesn't do a good job. Guess what? Your guy goes free. And really what the defense was doing today, and we've seen this very commonly over the last couple of years, sufficiency. Yeah, you did a, an investigation. You're police. You were there. You were doing the right thing. But you didn't do this. And you didn't yes. do that. And that's really important. And you just told us you didn't do it. So without that prior bad act testimony, I'm not seeing the strength from the state mm -hmm. that I think everybody would have preferred. Sure. I hear you. If he walks out the door, he can get remarried, and he can have another death to explain. Yeah, and you know yeah. what, we joke. The more the, the more the sadder. It's just, I, I, he, he might, it, there's a very good possibility he could walk on this one, and he's young enough to get married again. 
I mean, I think that's what's terrifying to me. You know, if I was a prosecutor, I'd be worried. Well, I really would be. Well, get him a new yeah. hairstyle, though. Oh, yeah, that hairstyle's got to go. Over. At least it's better than the pigtails, right? Uh, the pigtails. I like it's the so pigtails, so a man of a certain size, size. Yes. you know. I got Look a little, that I got right a little bit of this going one. on. Now, that that's a handsome picture, but he looked good with the pigtails. I just happen to know, we were just talking about this, there are people reaching out to him right now in a personal oh, way. Yeah. Someone will, oh yeah, somebody will want him. We talk about all the time how crazy it is when we see criminals, mm -hmm. serial killers, yeah, it's you not know, just get criminals. love letters in, yeah. in jail, right? It's not just criminals, it's the serial killers. Yeah. It's a certain former lawyer who was a serial killer. While he was on death row, he got proposition after proposition. Ted Bundy? So Ted Bundy, Bundy yeah. wanted the same, absolutely. Yeah. Looked like a perfect lawyer until he became the perfect defendant. Right. Three. He was handsome. I mean, it's like, I hate to say that, but he was. 300 yeah. million citizens in this great country. Yeah. There's going to be a couple that I just question. <laughs> no. who's, who's hitting on a guy getting off death row? That's something there. I know, Josh. I, I know. Just, it's, oh. a it's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. Oh, we'll see what happens with the widower again. It'll continue tomorrow on Court TV Live.